When Labour MP Koshalia Vagela entered Parliament three years ago, she was brimming with pride. When I got elected in November 2018, I was the happiest person on this planet. Here I was, the biggest achievement of my life. I wanted to make my family proud. I wanted to make my Indian community proud. As the first Indian-born member of the Victorian Parliament, she was eager to serve her community in Melbourne's Outer West. Instead, she became embroiled in a factional political saga. I was a very strong person. I was an independent woman, a very strong person, before I became an MP. Within a year, I was, I was completely destroyed. I was, I was, I was a nervous wreck always looking over my shoulder. I had no idea what was, what was lying ahead. Had I known, I would have never become a member of parliament. Prior to becoming an MP, she'd been a member of the Labor Party's socialist left faction, but defected to the right just before the election. I could not understand what wrong I had done. So in my mind, left, right, they all factions are of the same party. The Socialist Left is one of the dominant factions within Victorian Labor. Many ministers, including the Premier Daniel Andrews, are members. After swapping allegiances, Ms Vigella received this message from Gabrielle Williams, who's now the Minister for Women and a member of the Socialist Left. You have often spoken to me about how you value integrity. Integrity means keeping your promises, including those you only made a few days ago. When you sign up to a group and then decide to betray that group, Integrity means explaining that decision. We have crossed paths. She would not do eye contact with me. In, in group settings, she would speak to everyone else. She would completely ignore me. Um, um, she would exclude me. In a statement, Labor MP Gabrielle Williams told 7.30 that text messages related to an earlier in-person conversation between the two, and there was extra context to the message. After the triumph of her ascendance to Parliament, Kashalia Vagella alleges a staff member in the Premier's office would routinely harass and bully her at public events. She also claims he and three of his friends acted in a concerted campaign to intimidate her. These people were turning up at events. They will stand over me, um, you know, invade my personal space when I stand up to give a speech. They would laugh. They were, they were just mocking me. Um, it was, you know, it was very intimidating. What was, what was the response from, from the office of the Premier when you raised these concerns? I felt like they did not care. They just did not take it seriously. The staff member has since lost his job with the Premier. 7.30 spoke to the staff member who denied the allegations levelled against him. There was an issue with a staff member, a complaint was made and the staff member no longer works uh, in my office. Uh, that was dealt with appropriately. Ms Vigella also alleges her husband was assaulted by another man at an event in November 2019 and she then took out an intervention order against the man. He came and physically and verbally assaulted my husband. He was very aggressive. What did he do to your husband? He caught my husband's hand and he was saying, come to the side, come in the corner, I want to talk to you. I was shaking because I thought now he's going to attack me. Ms Vigella said she raised her concerns numerous times with the Premier's office. 7.30 seen correspondence between Ms Vigella and members of staff in Daniel Andrews' office, including a formal letter of complaint last May. Ms Vigella believes the Premier knew about the allegations but turned a blind eye. He's denied this. My first complaint that I had made uh, to the Premier's office was in April 2019, but uh, there was no outcome. Uh, I, I did not see any action being uh, taken. When Ms Vigella made some of her allegations public this month, the Premier brushed off questions from reporters. To be honest, I'm not here to talk about that person. 
When I heard the words that person from the premier about me, that just triggered me. I was traumatized. I lost my identity. I lost my name. I, I felt worthless. And that's exactly how I felt throughout throughout the last three years. Today, the Premier again refuted accusations the complaint wasn't handled swiftly enough. Where we see those issues, then we take action. Was that action taken soon enough, given she claimed she first raised the allegations of bullying with your office in April of 2019? There are a number of different complaints. Some of them related to a staff member in my office, others related to members of the public. I don't think it's accurate to describe uh, that process is uh, inadequate. I don't think it's accurate to describe that process as not being genuine. WorkSafe Victoria is now investigating the claims. Two weeks ago, Koshalia Vagella crossed the floor of Parliament to support a motion put forward by estranged MP Adam Somurek. After abandoning the left faction, Ms Vagella aligned herself with Mr Somurek, who was once the top power broker on Labor's right. He has a chequered history when it comes to running a parliamentary office. In a Channel 9 investigation aired in 2020, it was revealed he made derogatory remarks about Gabrielle Williams. Fourth out of the mystery, that f bitch. Andrews goes, she's a stupid, stupid mob. He's now the subject of a joint investigation by the Ombudsman and the state's anti-corruption body over branch stacking allegations, which he denies. As part of the watchdog's investigations, Ms Vigella's husband Dinesh was named as a factional operative within Labor's right. But Ms Vigella insists this isn't a game of political revenge. Is your decision to speak out now partly because you were, you were dropped from pre-selection for the state no, um, election in November? All this started in April 2019. There was no pre-selection pre there. Why did you decide to do this interview? I have suffered a lot. Over three years, me and my family, we have suffered a lot, and I want justice. I want the Premier to acknowledge what they have done to me and apologise to me. Hi, I'm Lee Sales. Thanks for watching this story. If you'd like to watch more of 7.30's stories, they are on the left of your screen. And tap on the button below to subscribe and get the latest from ABC News.